Hello guys, and this is just a quick video to introduce the next upcoming video series which I'm going to be doing, which will be covering uh, CryEngine 3 SDK, because they just recently released uh, released their newest update, which is uh, update 3.3.7. So the reason why I chose CryEngine for you guys is a, it's a big step up from, um, let's just say, Unreal Development Kit. It fo basically focuses on amazing graphics, outdoor environments, and uh, AI physics. Well, that's what I found is best with CryEngine SDK. It may be slightly harder to learn than uh, Unreal Development Kit, I'm g but in this series I'm going to be going over a few of the more advanced features. I'm going to show you how to export your own custom models from modeling software such as 3ds Max. I'm going to show you how to import your own terrain materials, or just terrain materials and basic for your game so you can make nice, colorful environments. I'm going to show you how to take advantage of some of the more advanced features and basically show you how to make a truly uh, amazing game. I'll cover a few pieces of software which was like Photoshop, uh, 3ds Max, CryEngine. I'm going to show you how to use the CryTiff plugin as well to make those materials. But I'm just going to make a whole bunch of videos. It's going to be about 25 of them in total. And I'm going to start off with doing the series introduction, which I'm doing at the moment. I'm going to show you how to install the SDK and how to open it, because I know some people are having some problems with opening it. Opening it. Then I'm going to go over like the viewports and user interface, so you know when I reference something in the video, you'll know where to go to. Then I'll show you how to make a very basic terrain, which is just going to cover like making the terrain, or generating it, and then sculpting the terrain. And then I'm going to show you how to add materials to your terrain so you can make it like, yeah, just customize it to your needs and to make it work around the objects you've made. And then I'm going to show you how to install a CryTiff plugin which will let, allow you to get materials from uh, Photoshop and then put them into CryEngine. And then once you've installed them, I'm just going to show you how to put them in CryEngine itself. Then I'll go over some of the, ti the time of day which basically will change some of the lighting effects and just so you can change it's night, morning, midday, stuff like that and then I'm going to show you how to put in objects like vegetations and object presets which come with CryEngine I will show you how to um, make your own objects and import them into CryEngine SDK then I'm going to go over some HDR lighting effects which will build the lightings like lens flares stuff like that then I'm going to show you how to make rivers rather than just um, um, sculpting the terrain so it goes at sea level so you can see the water. I'm going to show you how to basically put it in at a custom height and with little like path nodes and then I'm going to do the same with roads and that will adjust uh, around the terrain and yeah it will move some of the terrain yourself so you don't have to do it which is kind of cool then I'm going to show you how to move parts of your terrain like copy and paste basically but you can uh, choose like a source area, target area, stuff like that. Then we're going to go over some of the different entities like vehicles, uh, spawn points, stuff like that. Then I'm going to go over placing basic AI. Basically, you can get the AI entity. You place it down. You can shoot it. Now, so you have to generate it. Then I'm going to introduce you to the flow graph system and show you what some of it can do. And then I'll show you how to add spawn points with the flow graph system, so you respawn in specific places when you want to. And then I'm going to go over uh, starting to make uh, custom objects for your game. I'm going to show you how to install 3ds Max, where you can get it from. Then I'm going to go over the user interface. I'll show you how to make basic objects in there. I'm going to show you how to apply materials. With those fundamentals, you should be able to make own, your own uh, objects to what you need. Then I'm going to show you how to import those custom 3ds Max assets to CryEngine. I'm going to go over some like weather settings and parameters. So basically you can change web settings to make it rain, then I'll show you how to advance on that and make some cool effects. Then I'm going to go over sound effects, and then I'm going to go over loading your game in the CryEngine launcher. You can't like package your game like you can in Unreal Development Kit unless you've got a license, which costs kind of a fair bit. But if you can get a nice team together, get some funding, it will be all good. Anyway, that's about all I want to show you in this video. Look forward to the upcoming video series, and yeah, good luck and... Have a nice game.